Alright guys, y'all y'all know me, my name is Rob, aka Krakatoa Savage from MassiveOnline.net and today we got Need for Speed Shift. I just wanted to post this video up because some people were having problems with the rear end being real slippery on takeoff. It seems that the stock, the stock controller settings were just kind of funky. Fortunately, they let you adjust all the sensitivity and dead zones in it. Um, basically, you're going to reduce the sensitivity. Um, you can check my comments to see how to do that and where to put them at to get you a nice baseline to start off. Now, these aren't perfect for everyone. But, if you got a game pad and you can't spend a hundred bucks for a controller, or a racing wheel, I mean, this is probably going to be your best option and it's going to make the game a little bit more enjoyable for you. Especially if you like racing um, with all pro mode with no assist. That seems to be the craze and trust me, I do it myself. I'm a huge Forza fan so this is just a natural fit. Um, as you can see I'm using the most beastly of cars to try and demonstrate this but you can be a grip racer. Once you get your car dialed in, the game is amazing, and I think that's the main focus of this game, whereas in Forza, it's pretty much collect like a Pokemon deal. You collect as many cars as you can, and you use them for a race or two, and then you toss them in the bin. With this game, it's more focused on getting a car that you like, tweaking it, tuning it, adding to it, learning what all the different different things you can adjust actually do and how they affect your car. It really gives you a sense of ownership once you get a car down packed. And like I said, I'm a muscle car fan. I've never really liked tuners except for a few of them like the Evolutions, things like that. So like I said, this is just really a natural fit. The music in the game, yeah. As far as the in-game videos, it's like anywhere from pretty good to grating on your nerves. This happens to be one of those ones that's grating on my nerves right now. But I really wanted to get the video up to you. Now, the menu music, that's something I don't even know how to describe it. It's kind of a backbeat with a mix of racing sounds to it. I honestly, truly don't know how to define it, but it's something you got to hear. And if you're a car lover, you'll recognize every sound that they mix into it. And it makes for an awesome, awesome soundtrack. Especially, I, I almost wish I can rip it off the disc to play it in my car. Because like I said, I'm a huge car fan. I love vehicles. Give me four wheels. Hell, for that matter, three or two. And I'm in pure heaven. But, like I said, this video is mainly just to show folks that, yes, it is possible to do grip driving in this game. It's just going to take a little bit of tweaking. Once you get those baseline settings for your gamepad, and I will be posting up some settings for the steering wheel also, um, you will pretty much, you're pretty much on your own as far as figuring out how you want to tweak the car. Just remember, moderation 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 this isn't one of the games where you can just jam on the gas pad and basically power around the track you're gonna have to discover that little bitty thing called the brake you're gonna have to learn to feather it you're basically gonna have to learn to drive now you will have a lot of people saying wait for Forza 3 and let's just face it Forza 3 will be great it's throwing everything but the kitchen sink at you but this is Need for Speed Shift's time. As far as what they were attempting to do, turning a flagging name, name, trying to turn to turn it around. Need for Speed, mission accomplished. The Need for Speed is back where it needs to be. Come Need for Speed Shift 2, I'll be looking for a lot from you because you're off to a great start. This is a great first year effort from EA and their partners Mad Dog. Next year, I expect you to step up to the plate and I want you to give those boys that turn 10 a run for their money. I'm a little bit about me. Like I said, I review these games all the time. 
I'm a huge race fan. Anybody that knows me will always see some kind of racing game in my system. And to be honest with you, Turn 10 has been really smelling their own farts for way too long. I love their product. Their support for their game is unprecedented. I hate their attitude. Until EA decided to really step their foot in the Simgineer, they wasn't even trying to give us any information on what was going to be in Forza 3. So, for that fact alone, I think it's worth it to support this game. And the fact that it's pretty damn amazing. There are some things you just can't fake. And when you start seeing the reviews come in with 8.5 to 9.0 to 9.5 scores all across the board from both the major sites and the little minor sites, you know you're in for a treat. Like I said, guys, it is possible to get that rear end of the control with these cars. This is just a little taste to show you that it's possible. Hope I haven't been too annoying. Try these settings out. I hope they help you. Expect some more videos, a little bit better quality. Um, and I'll be talking to you later. As I've always said, this is Robert Wiggins, MassiveOnline.net, where the only question that really matters is do you compete, do you quest, or do you conquer? Peace out, guys. See you on the track.